Hi, I'm Brady Childers, Vice President of Parks and Service at Sunny Merriman Incorporated. We want to take a brief opportunity today in light of some recent news that came out of North Carolina concerning two bus fires and their origin. So what we want to do today, we're going to focus on battery cable routing. While the specific uh, cause of the fire was never determined completely, it's a suspect area around the starter. So we thought it's a good opportunity to talk about during RPMs is really looking at our cable routing, making sure we don't have any trouble spots. Let's do a quick walkthrough. Obviously, we'd start at the positive terminal on the battery cable, walk through the rear of our battery box. We want to focus on any areas that may be a rub point. As you can see, the back of this box has a plastic grommet, and it's secured. As we follow the routing forward, we want to look at any spot that may chafe, rub, or bind. The cable is still in its frame clamps here. Going forward, everything's looking good. This area right here, this is a 2004 FS65 with a Caterpillar engine uh, that came about our used bus department. You can see that this area could be of concern because the battery cable sheathing could possibly rub on the motor mount. That's what we consider a trouble spot. So at that point, we would loosen this, reposition it so that we didn't have any major concern of a hard rub that could cause a short condition. We also want to follow this cable around to the front of our starter. This is where the cable terminates. We want to make sure that this lug is secure, that we don't have anything broken on the face of the starter, and that there's no condition to or from the starter that could cause a short condition. We don't want to stop there, however. After we leave the bottom of the engine, we want to go into the engine bay. We want to make sure that any place a positive battery cable terminates to and from that we don't have any rub or short condition. If you have any questions, feel free to call any member of our service team, and we'd be glad to give you some pointers.